All right, beautiful people. Welcome to another episode. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be combining two things. We are going to be combining kayaking and the truck. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a review of the MIFAR kayak roof mounting system available on Amazon. Link in the description below. And we are going to be using the truck to go kayaking. So, um, I'll, I'll check back in at the end of the video. It is the middle of November. It's actually late November and we are getting out on the water. And when I originally planned this, um, my wife is away. It's Thanksgiving. My wife is away and she was supposed to take her car to the airport. And instead she left her car here. So I could use her car. Uh, we have a whole roof rack set up for her car, but um, when she said she was leaving and she said she was taking her car to the airport, I got something for the truck and we are going to test it out today. So what I ended up picking up was the uh, MIFAR roof rack system and it's basically like pads that strap to the roof of your vehicle and then you strap the kayak down on top of that and we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. Now one of the things that's really nice about this vehicle is the way the doors open up. The back doors open really, really far, uh, and we're going to do that on both sides. Now one of the first things they say you should do is wipe off your roof, and I think that's just to protect the paint. Now, the roof on this truck, clearly the paint has seen better days, but that's okay. We'll still wipe it off anyway. Um, And probably next summer, um, we'll respray it with some color match paint. More for funsies than anything else. So I'm going to take out the first of the pads. And I've actually already looked at this, but you can see how it works in a minute. Okay, so the pad has a buckle on one end and a strap that goes through all these hooks and you're supposed to basically put it on the roof of your vehicle. Got the buckle hanging down here. So I'm going to go ahead and feed this up through the bottom. and pull it tight. Now I really want to put this kind of as far back as I can. One thing about this type of mounting system is it does squish the rubber gaskets around your door seals and rainwater will leak around through here and drip into the vehicle. So you do kind of have to be careful there. But we got the first one on, let's get the second one on. Now in this case, I'm trying to put the strap in the middle-ish of the vehicle. Um, Mostly because I don't want it hanging in my face while I'm driving. But looking at it, that should be pretty well up and out of the way. So I should be able to sit in here pretty comfortably. Now I am seeing a potential problem with this system, which is if you look, there isn't too much slack here. And so the straps might be too short um, for using this on such a large vehicle, but let's see how it goes. All right, 
Now when you're using a system like this, there are a couple of things that are really important. One thing is that you want to straddle your cockpit and you want the boat to be fairly centered. So by straddling the cockpit, I make it more difficult for the boat to slide back and forth. And the other thing is you really don't want the webbing to have any twists in it because those twists will create weak spots. So it's important to make sure that this stays flat throughout the entire run. You also kind of want to make sure that it's not sitting on anything that could abrade the plastic. Just put this up here. So here again, made sure that there weren't any twists. I am straddling the cockpit and because this is the front strap, I'm also going to make sure that this one sits further over so it's not dangling in my face while I'm driving. And now, I'm going to go ahead and close up the vehicle. Now one of the things that you're supposed to do with a system like this is to keep the boat from sliding forward and backwards is you're supposed to use one of these under the hood. Now they actually recommend that you put it in the side here. So we'll do that. All right, now that's trapped in there. So I'll put one here. And I'll put one here. Bring it down. And these are much better. It's resting on metal. I'm less worried that it's going to come out. Now it just uses these like, carabiner clips. You can clip it around there. And Kayaks and all that can look through. And then I'll just tighten it up on this side. Now this isn't holding the kayak onto the vehicle. Uh, this is more to keep the kayak from sliding forward and backward. So it doesn't need to be super tight. And now in a minute I'll come back and just cut this shorter because it's about as long as it needs to be. Now in the back, I've got another handle here, and because this is a truck, you can just use the truck's tie down. I can put this through the handle. Now again here in the back, this rope is really just meant to keep the boat from sliding forward and backward. Um, so again, I'm not going to make it super tight. Uh, the boat can probably move around a little bit, but it's not going to leave the vehicle, which is what we're really after. We want it to stay with the vehicle.
Okay, so I wanted to take a second to kind of go over everything that you get in the bag, or in the box. Uh, so you get two of these foam pads, you get uh, two shorter tie-downs that go through the foam pads, you get two longer tie-downs that go around your boat, you get two uh, bow, well a bow and toe strap, or bow and, what's the back of the boat called? keel strap, I don't know, the front of the boat and the back of the boat to tie it down. Uh, you get two of these foam anchors. Um, and all in all, it's not a bad system. The other thing that you get is you get a bag to put it all in. 
Now, after I got done boating, I didn't put it all directly in the bag because I didn't want it to get mildewy. So I left it out to dry for a couple of days. Um, probably overnight would have been fine. And uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all back in the bag. I don't know really how much this costs. I think it was in the order of $60 somewhere in there. Now there is something similar um, that you can buy at Walmart or any you know hardware store and it's basically two short foam pads that you put on your roof and then you put the boat on top of the foam pads and then you strap them down with two tie downs. Uh, the, you know, the cheap kit that I started out with, actually my first kind of way to carry the kayak, um, it was about 20 bucks. And the issue that I had with it, the biggest issue is that you would get everything, you put the pads on top of your car, you'd pick up your boat and the wind would blow and the pads would fly away. And then you'd have to put your boat down and then start over and it just turned into this giant hassle every time you wanted to try to get your boat up on your car. The other thing is that you kind of have to put the pads at the edge of the car and then slide them into the middle. And I found that that was, you know, all of this was problematic. Like you, you know, you put your boat down on top of the pads on the edge of your car and then you slide it around and there's sand getting on stuff and it's just, you're scratching your paint. And it was pretty terrible. Um, and then it was really hard to make sure that the straps were really tight. And, you know, my wife, when she was driving like this, uh, she had the boat kind of like lift up a little bit as she was going. Having the extra set of straps that strap the pads down, um, and also having the pads be much wider, these pads are, you know, like almost the entire width of the roof of the truck, um, in my opinion, makes it much easier to use them. You can put the boat down on the pads and you're sliding the boat on the pads and not sliding the pads on the roof. Uh, the other thing is um, the system makes it really easy to use the, the front and back straps to kind of make sure the boat doesn't slide forward and backwards. And um, having the handy bag that, you know, once everything's dry, I can throw this bag in the truck and I know that it's in there. And if I ever just want to throw a boat up on top of the truck, I have all the stuff that I need right here. Now, that said, a couple of things. One, um, the pads have these weird little loops on them that keep the strap that holds the pads in place in place. And I think that's problematic because I can see some people trying to strap the boat to those little straps. Please don't do that. Uh, the extra set of straps that they give you are really long and that's so that they can go over your boat and through the vehicle. And you really wanna tie the boat to the vehicle, not to these pads. Um, Outside of that, uh, in terms of just a quick, easy way to get something up on your roof, I think these are probably the ticket. So go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description. And uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I approve of the Mifar uh, kayak roof rack system. All right, you guys, so that brings us to the end of another video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, learned something, and maybe, you know, are considering uh, getting out on the water yourself. So, um, as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.